Some people are saying, this is none of your business. The hell it isn't my business. And I'm going to tell you why it's every bit my business. This is what happened. Glorion Murray was in these YouTube streets backstabbing those that she claims that she rocks with. And I sent that recon report and it was not received very well at all. And let me tell you why. Let's get to the why. Glorion Murray and Butthole Pick Bernice are on this pity pimp game. They constantly push their medical issues. And if they're doing it here up in front of everybody else, you can only imagine what crap they're trying to work behind the scenes. Well, let me tell you, Glorion Murray, your pity pimp game didn't work for the city of New York. They didn't buy your bullshit and they fired you. You can get up here and tell any freaking lie you want saying that you're on medical leave. No, you're not on medical leave. That's just the problem, people. She was unable to get the justification that she claimed she had to be off work. She was listed as AWOL for two years. Let me explain AWOL. AWOL means in this context, not the military version, that you were off work. That's acknowledged. They even acknowledge you have some health issues. But what they refuse to accept is her word only. Work, attendance, time cards, leave, be medical and legal issues. Because leave may not always be related to medical issues, but these are legal issues. Your time on the job, record keeping, all of that stuff. Human resources, these are legal issues. This is not an arbitrary situation that Glorion Murray made it into. I can just text you and call you and tell you I'm sick. She did this for two years, didn't work. And she's up here bragging about she was on a job for 20 years. Okay, you were on the rolls for 20 years, but she sure as hell didn't work for no damn 20 years. So what she ended up doing is getting a reprieve or she skated on a year because they had her AWOL for a year. The administrative law judge said, okay, she provided documentation for a period of time, which is a year. But for the other year, she did not have sufficient documentation to justify being off work. The pity pimp game didn't work on the city of New York. So that is why they fired her. Let me also tell you something else. She was accused again of being aggressive, this time towards a resident of one of the shelters that she was working in as a security guard. She got a skate on that. The judge determined that she didn't use excessive force. Okay, you got a reprieve, but you didn't get a reprieve on your AWOL for a whole year. Are you gonna sit here and tell me I'm lying? You can tell me I'm lying all you want. The only person who has ever lied about anything has been you. And we let you go around lying over and over and over again. Okay, taking three steps back. What does this have to do with butthole pick Bernice? Why are they all into this issue with the only one? Because the only one, for those of you who did listen to her tell the story, she forged a relationship with these two females. And things were really strange. It lasted just like a few months because she realized they're not equally yoked when it comes to friendship. The only one says that Glorion Murray, who she knew longer than she knew butthole pick Bernice, said to her, Bernice has to show you something. And Bernice did not have the only one's phone number. Glorion Murray gave Butthole Pick Bernice the only one's phone number. And Butthole Pick Bernice sent the only one a picture of a man's anus and claimed it was linen on her. And that's when the only one kicked them to the curb and they went bonkers after that. They were pissed. They were just completely out of it because she set a 
because she drew a line in the sand. So since this time, this is what's been happening to the only one. She's been harassed relentlessly. And here you see Butthole Pick Bernice's most recent messages. And yes, the only one is trying to get her served with a restraining order. So 2022, yes, Butthole Pick Bernice, you're gonna be served one way or another. And this is just a few of the messages. So meanwhile, when this was all happening, all of this was going on, I was a moderator in Lennon Honors chat and somebody else's chat who I'm not mentioning. No, they like to tell you that I'm afraid of these people. Damn it, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. When it comes to my rights, I have no fear of anybody. I'm going to speak out. I'm gonna come out swinging like you've never seen me swing before. No one is going to stifle me when it comes to my rights. What I like to do is sit back and watch and see just how far people think they can take this shit. And Glorion and Butthole Pick Bernice didn't disappoint on many levels. So let me explain to you. Glorion Murray took this while she was going through this whole mess, trying to save her job. And when did this decision come down about her job, which had nothing to do with the only one initially? This decision was handed down in November of 2020, where they said, you are fired. Yes, she has the union. Yes, she may be meandering through that process, but she's fired people for all intents and purposes. And we learned this, go to February, March, April-ish, real serious shit started happening. That's when the only one recognized that Glorion Murray was serious about her threat in writing, people, in writing. She threatened the only one. She told her what she was going to do. She threatened grown man and they sat back and they were patient. They kept the info. We're talking about stealth. People don't always react to everything that you do to them because you need to do enough of it for you to have a case. So don't jump if somebody does something once. Report it if it's a life-threatening event, but don't jump up and start going back and forth because you need the person to continue doing the shit that you know they're gonna do for you to get the evidence. And that's exactly what Glorion Murray did and Butthole Pick Bernice did. So here I am. How did I get involved? Here you go, people. Glorion Murray slid up and was sending emails. You've seen her, right? So tacky, releasing these emails. You can release whatever you want to release. What you never got, just like the missing your handcuffs, is what you really wanted. Shit that you can really destroy people with. You haven't destroyed anybody. You don't have the information to destroy anyone but yourselves. That's the thing they don't want to recognize. You are doing things to destroy yourself. You haven't destroyed any, anyone. You haven't destroyed me. You haven't destroyed anti-fraud warriors. And you certainly haven't destroyed the only one. You have bolstered her case because your big blabber mouse, your lack of control, what you were showing Glorion Murray on your job that you had is the same shit that is playing out on YouTube. So how am I involved? Glorion Murray will lie to you over and over, telling you that I called the police on her because she got up on a panel and said she wanted to challenge me to a gladiator fight or gladiator bullshit. Glorion Murray is an unadulterated liar. I never called the police on her. She says I called the FBI on her. You liar. No FBI was called on you. If I called the cops on you, I would have come here and I would have reported it like I have done for every single person who has violated my rights and threatened me with violence. Serious threat of violence. I have called the law and I will continue to do that. You're not coming up here on a public forum thinking you can threaten my life and I'm gonna dry up and shrivel away because you're on platforms lying your asses off. I have stated at least two times, possibly three, the reason why I have a solid justification to file a complaint against Glorion Murray. 
I have stated that. The fact that she wants to ignore that or doesn't recall it, that isn't my problem. If anybody wants to know, email me. I'll be happy to send you that information. I'm not going to repeat it again because I've already stated it. I have an actionable claim, but guess what I did? I deferred to the only one because we knew exactly what Glorion was going to do to her as she threatened. She threatened to hack into her medical records and that is exactly what she did. Now what I said, she hacked into the medical records, she engaged someone else in that process. That means you are a guilty party. You hear, let me see your handcuffs lying, saying that she didn't have CPS called on breaking the culture of silence. Yes, she did. You put the number, you put the information, you told people to call. It's the same thing as me calling a bank if we're going to go rob it to make sure I got the hours down. I got the location. You were just as involved as anyone who picked up that phone and made those phone calls. And I wouldn't be surprised if you called yourself, you are culpable. So people want to sit here and put this information out for people to take and harm other people. And then they want to turn around and say they didn't do anything. You people are dense. That is why you get along so well. We didn't get along very well. I didn't connect with Glorion. I didn't connect with Butthole Pick Bernice. I didn't connect with, let me see your handcuffs. Our value systems are too different. They're too vast. We're just cut from two different planets, people. I can never be friends with people who are deliberately setting out to harm other people. And this is what they do. This is what they have done. Someone doesn't want anything to do with you. So you set about trying to destroy them and their families and get into their medical records. Yes, that's what Glorion did. That's a whole separate action, people. Glorion was already on track to be fired when we went to file our complaints. I stepped aside because it was very important for the only one to get this complaint in. I'll step aside. If this doesn't go through, then I'm going to file my complaint on you, Glorion Murray. I have the information I need to file on your ass. You are supposed to be an officer of the law and you are encouraging violence. You do. And I'm not talking about the gladiator comments, although I am going to include those. You know what you did. You're not going to get me up here to again, explain it to the world. You are a treacherous snake. You have no business in law enforcement. You can run your crap all over the place about me being a therapist. I don't give a damn. You don't have a single solitary thing that you can file and prevail on concerning me. I, however, would never discourage you from trying. So please oblige me and file this complaint with the federal government based on what you claim that I falsified federal documents. Listen, you fool. This is not a federal document. This is a document from the state of New York, specifically civil service law. You should know this. You're bragging about being at a job for quote, 20 years. Don't you know about civil service law? This ain't got a damn thing to do with the federal government. But again, don't let me stop you. File away, file the damn complaints. Have a nice time doing it. So here Glorion Murray is going around all of these panels claiming I got kicked off here, I got kicked off there. Can someone explain to me, how do you get kicked off? How do you get kicked off unless you're on a panel and then somebody says you're kicked off? I've never been up on a panel. I've only called a few times and any time that I was there, nobody kicked me off. How the hell do you know you're kicked out of a live stream or a chat? Here's what I want to tell you. I never went back. How the hell do I know if I'm kicked out of somewhere unless I go back and I try to leave a message? I've never tried to leave a message in any space that I left ever. Now, the exception was with the Smokes channel, that's a whole nother negotiation type situation. And go ahead and say what you want about the Smokes channel. You folks have no idea what's going on. And I'll leave it at that. 
But here is the thing. She was going around while she's trying to save a job, people. She is trying to save a job and she's putting her energy into thinking she's got some power and some muscle because she is in a live stream where she's tolerated based on pity. That goes for her. That goes for butthole pick Bernice. They have pity existence in these live streams because they go on and on and on and on about their medical problems. The city of New York didn't give a damn, Glorion, about your damn lies. They were unwilling to accept without medical documentation. You can be sick. People are sick. How many of us have never in our lives had to go to get a procedure done? You had to be off work. Maybe you fractured your ankle. You broke your arm. Your child was sick. What did you do? You let your employer know you had documentation you provided. How hard can that be? And here's the other issue. You don't even have to tell them the reason that you're off. Now, if it's going to be an extended period of time, you only need to let human resources know. Your own supervisor doesn't even need to know why you're missing work because that's confidential. But when you're breaking all the freaking rules and you're trying to skate around like you're an ice skater and just avoid working, then you come on the internet and try to trash people for their work ethic? You cannot be serious. But yes, this is what Glorion Murray does. So she thought that she just had me over these live streams while she's neglecting salvaging a job. Yes, it's meandering through the union, but she thought these live streams were gonna save her. Getting shout outs in Lennon's live stream and the other person's live stream being tolerated based on pity, that that was gonna do what? That's gonna translate over into, into actual job salvaging scenario? Are you serious? Because listen, this is where this person's whole life is, being so-called praised and pitied and you know, feel sorry for you because they got all these issues. This is what her life is like. This is what butthole pick Bernice does. Pity pimping. And then they want to say, you're being mean because you don't care about my problems. No, this is called some bullshit manipulation. Just like Corey Slater. Yes, people are aware about your condition, but you take it overboard and you expect people to give you passes for your bullshit, for your harassment, for criminal conduct, glory on and butthole pick Bernice. What you're doing is criminal. What you're doing to the only one is criminal. Glory on what you did to me was criminal. And I'm going to file this complaint on you if they don't get your ass up out of there. You have no business being in law enforcement. Furthermore, you're not going to silence me when it comes to talking about anything involving me. You are a bona fide, unadulterated liar, Glory On. You didn't learn your lesson. You were suspended in 2011. You didn't learn your lesson. And that's what the administrative law judge stated. This was your third suspension. Yes, people have issues at work. People are not angels, but three suspensions and two of them involve violence. My God, what the heck? And you say that other people have problems and you try to invoke violence talking about me, though your gladiator comment is going to be included, but that's not the worst of it. Again, I'm not going into it because I've already stated it at least two times, quite possibly three. What you did, and it's law enforcement related. Stop your freaking lying. You say that I'm lying, put your damn documents up here on the screen. It's public. The document where you got your ass fired is public. We are just not going to give people the direction on how to locate it. And again, if I ever hear you talking about Gerald Palmer again, I'm gonna light you up so bad. I'm gonna lean on him like I've never have to get people in touch with this document. You need to shut the hell up. And no, this is not blackmail. This shit is online. This isn't saying, oh, I have a secret document that I'm gonna release if you don't stop. No, I'm gonna just tell people where they can find this shit. 
to shut you up because you lied so many times. Let me tell you another lie she told. I'm saying lie based on the fact that not a single reference was mentioned about this in this 20 page document. She went around telling people on the internet, nobody's spreading any business that you disclosed backstage. You went on a panel and you told the panel, back up, let me, excuse me, not the panel. You left a message in a chat saying that you were a cancer survivor. That's very interesting how you and Bernice tease the only one who is a cancer survivor, tease her all over the place. You claim to be a cancer survivor, but guess what? You didn't mention cancer, not once in that 20 page document. So you're full of shit. You are full of it. Cancer survivors are protected by federal law. You can't discriminate against somebody who has cancer. That's illegal. So if you really had cancer, why didn't you let your employer know so you can get the freaking time off? AWOL is what you were left with. You couldn't find a doctor to lie for you. That's what it came down to. You have off, you're off. You needed documentation that you needed to be off work for an entire year, entire two years. You got one year, yes, but the second year you were considered to be AWOL. You going to get up here on YouTube and say, I'm lying on you file your freaking false complaint all over the place. Go for it. But let's get to the only ones document, which is not publicly released. You have it. You have that document and you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is a document where you engage somebody to hack into the only ones medical records. People, I'm not going to get into medical record descriptions right now. I'll do that later. Actually, it's a very interesting video that I have started working on about accessing medical records. Many of us in this YouTube space have high levels of responsibility where we do have access to medical records and we access only our clients records. You're audited. If you go searching for someone else's records, they're going to catch you. Every single time your password is renewed, you get taken through an extensive audit of your searches and every single one of those searches damn well better be a client that you're working with. I don't know anybody personally who's ever had any trouble with medical record accessing. I've never had any trouble. I have access to many databases, but that's the difference between me and you. Your values are in the freaking toilet. You and butthole pick Bernice and anybody that agrees to search for people's personal business and databases where they have trust established or going to people who have trust established. Glorian Murray, you were still bottom rank in your so-called ex job. You didn't have access to warrants. You didn't have access to anything. All you did was wreak havoc on your own damn job. Now let's talk about what happened in 2011, where you were suspended. You were suspended over contraband that a resident was trying to bring into a shelter. That was the foundation of the issue. You confiscated alcohol. And when your coworker tried to ask you what you were going to do with it, you got aggressive with a man. You swung on a dude and you try to take him out with the baton and he had to punch you in the face to get you down. And when you decided getting punched in the face wasn't quite enough, you bit the dude. I mean, come on, your behavior in that incident mirrors what we're seeing online. Always ready to fight, screaming and hollering, going all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't even learn your lesson by getting punched in the face by a man. Now I'm not talking about DV victims, male or female. I'm not including you. I'm talking about somebody who was dumb enough, a woman, a female who was dumb enough to swing on a man thinking you're not going to get the shit knocked out of you. 9.9 .9 of the men out there. You can tell me any lie you want to. You have a woman swinging on you with the baton biting you you're going to knock the shit out of her. I don't care what you think about. You shouldn't hit a woman. Am I saying that's right? Quote unquote, it's self-defense. It's not like he attacked her. She attacked him and got punched in the face 
had to go to the emergency room. He didn't have a single scratch on him because she was not strong enough to cause any damage. Tell me that makes any semblance of sense. It doesn't. And she hasn't learned her lesson. Still running around here talking about fighting people. What, where the hell is that going to get you? A punch in the face. People who go around doing shit like this almost always end up getting their ass kicked from here to kingdom come because they have no sense. They have no self-control. They're not looking at their whole entire situation. You don't know what kind of training someone else has. Trust you me, I don't fear you physically at all. I'm just not going to delve into an indignity of fighting with you unless you run up on me. You're all talk. That's what you are. And look what the talk, look where it got you. Fired. You got fired and you're up here on YouTube while you were supposed to be trying to save your job, doing the same shit you have always done. Now the fight is on. Trust you, I know the fight is on. People, I told you, I have a friend who's a union negotiator. And he tells me, he gets so pissed. We do all this shit for these people and they turn around and do the same damn thing. Although he doesn't tell me the specific situations because it's confidential. I feel the frustration when it comes to these people, you're fighting to keep their jobs. They don't appreciate a damn thing. They just want to wreak havoc any and everywhere they go. But let me tell you something. You are encountering people who are not putting up with your bullshit. I'm one of them. The only one is another one. And anybody else that comes to us asking for help because you and butthole pick Bernice are harassing and intimidating and threatening people. We're going to help them handle business. You're messing with the wrong people. We're here on YouTube. We have a right to be here without these threats, without this harassment. We're here to dispense truth and there's nothing that you can do to stop that. People, you know the drill. There is so much more to come. Buyer beware.